Hey our friends, today we're gonna draw a cityscape. Yeah, a cityscape is like a landscape, except it's of the city. Yeah, with, all the buildings. Yeah, with all the buildings. We hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You ready to start? Yes. We're starting with our paper horizontal, and this is so that we can get the full cityscape in our paper. You, you could draw it this way, but it will be really short. Yeah. And we're using our markers to draw with, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. Okay, let's start with everything that's closest to us. And so we're gonna draw this row of buildings smaller. Some of it will be big and some will be small, but let's draw the first or the closest buildings to us. I'm gonna draw a line up, over, and back down. Another really fun thing about drawing a cityscape is that you can change it any way you want, like a lot of our art lessons. Yeah. You could draw this taller if you want, you could draw it wider or even shorter. Now let's leave a little space and we're gonna draw another building, but let's change it. We're gonna draw this one shorter, but also a rectangle. We could do other things to our building. Let's add maybe a little detail on top. We could even do that over here. Maybe this one's not in the center, it's just off to the side. Let's even draw a shorter building. Look, this one's being <laughs> Whoa, guy. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe the ground is actually below our paper down here. And so this is just the top of the building you can barely see. And I'm gonna draw maybe uh, another layer, just like we have on the other ones, but maybe another layer on top of it. Ooh, and you could also even draw an antenna. Okay, now let's add another one. This one, I'm gonna draw maybe short like this, but it's also not as wide. And we can even add another layer. Let's add another building behind this one. So I'm gonna draw it like this. It's already starting to look like a cityscape. Yeah. We need more buildings though. Yes, taller buildings. Ooh, taller buildings. Let's do it. Let's start right in the middle. I'm gonna draw a building that even has a different shape to it. I'm gonna draw a line that comes up, then maybe a diagonal line and then we could draw another line going up further. And then I'm gonna draw across. And then I'm gonna come down. Well, maybe one more diagonal and then a straight line down. So like a futuristic building. Yes, you could make your buildings look really futuristic. Maybe you even have flying cars. Whoa. <laughs> okay, now let's draw more buildings and I'm gonna go a little faster because you don't have to draw it exactly like me. You can change it. Ton of rectangles. Yes, and you can draw, let's draw one that's really skinny though. Let's draw one that's tall, comes over, and then super skinny. Oh, and then maybe there's even another building behind that one, like this. I'm gonna draw another building over here. Maybe there's a, some space too. Come down, oh, and then this one's gonna have a little, like, part that sticks out like this. I'm gonna add another one over here. Oh, maybe this one has a diagonal at the very top, and then a point, and comes down. Oh well, yeah. I'm gonna add more layers on this one. And then, oh, a really tall antenna. Oh, this one needs an antenna too. And another tall part here. Oh, I'm gonna add an antenna on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, we did it. Yes. Well, we're not completely done. Still need to color it. Yeah, and add more details like the windows. Yeah. These kind of just look like shapes. So let's switch to our color markers and we'll come right back. We're using our Art for Kids Hub markers. If you have the same set and want to use the same colors, the first three that we picked out, 34 orange, 74 blue, it's a dark blue, and then 76 is a lighter blue. But also remember, you don't have to use the same supplies and you can even change the colors any way you want. Let's start by drawing the windows on one of our buildings with our light blue. I'm using 76 and we're gonna draw Oh, we can even make this 3D. You don't have to do this if it seems a little challenging, but if you want to, it'd be fun. You can just draw patterns for the windows. You draw lines that come down and, and the other way, horizontal or vertical. So this is gonna make the building look 3D. 
And then we can add windows on this side. So now I'm going to draw lines straight across for the windows going down the building. You could even leave a little space. Maybe there's something else on this floor. You could even change. Maybe, maybe it's just windows like this. Yeah. And then let's switch to our darker blue. We're using 74. And then we can add the darker windows on the side of the building that's in the shadow. This makes the building look more 3D, but this is also slightly more advanced. So you can just draw patterns straight across your building. You don't have to add this extra shadow on the side of the building. On this building in the background, let's change how we do the windows. Maybe they're just lines straight down. So I'm gonna use the light blue and we're gonna draw a pattern of vertical lines going across the front of our building. And this one we won't make 3D. So this one is turned a different way. It's just straight towards us. Then up here on the top, maybe there's a shadow on these layers. Oh, we could also draw windows maybe going this way too. So oh, we yeah. Can, that's kind of fun, huh? We can also mix up the color of the windows. Maybe some of them are orange. So right here, I'm gonna draw lines that go straight across all the way to the other side. Then we can also add a shadow on this building by using our light blue and just layering it on top of those yellow or orange windows that we already added. Well, look how the windows on this side look green. Yeah. Now that we've drawn the windows on a few of our buildings, let's speed up the video and finish our drawing by repeating those same steps, but we can change them so that each building looks unique. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Jack, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our cityscapes and they turn out so cool. I say this every time, but this is my new favorite lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's one of your favorites. Uh, that's probably a better way to say it. <laughs> yeah, you have a ton. <laughs> They're all my favorite. I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings. You guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring or just use it as inspiration. I also love that we just used three colors, our orange and two blues but you could also color yours any way you want. Yeah, you could use lots of colors. Right, you don't have to just use three. But I thought that it was fun to limit the three colors and change the patterns. We also gave our drawing a background by just adding some simple cloud shapes and coloring it in blue. Oh, and we added more buildings. Yeah, we added little buildings way off in the background with the blue marker too. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing the cityscape with us. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take time to color your drawings and add even more things to them. Yeah. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.